So here I am, uh, just arrived at this soft launching property marketing that I'm invited to join and do business with. So why not? Late one hour, but here in Jakarta, to be late, it's uh, no big deal. And that's why when the program says 9.30, well, it's not. It's already past 10, 10 50, I think. And the program, uh, the, the, the event hasn't started yet. The soft launching of this property. And that's what they asked me to join, to help. They gave me this goodie bag, you know, goodie bag. And look what's inside. They've already provided some water, some spring roll, some snacks for you. Wow, it's very impressive. I'm enjoying it so far. So I'm invited to this painting exhibition by two artists. One yeah, so regarding the media thing, I forgot about it. There's this colonial painting tradition that uh, Dutch, Indonesian Dutch Indonesian artists, Indonesian artists Indonesian as well as Indonesian artists, yeah. engaged in. It was a way to kind of describe the colony, describe the topography of the colony, and also to create the myths of the colony. The reason I don't understand the following is the kind of pleasure of that project, that campaign started hundreds of years ago. This is the World Trade Center 2 in Jakarta. It's organized by my American girlfriend here in Jakarta. There are like six World Trade Centers in one complex. Hi, good afternoon from Jakarta. It's Thursday today and I'm going to do the vlog of uh, talking about the difference, differences between Milan and Jakarta, as promised. But I'm going to uh, cut every so often so that I could upload it to Messenger first because I can't upload it directly to my iMovie. So if you see some cuts, uh, that is um, deliberate. So how are you? Hope everything is fine. Everybody is just uh, doing wonderfully. And here I am uh, in my office corner in my villa in Jakarta. And as you can see in the background, it's cloudy because it's monsoon season. So um, it's expected to be cloudy and overcast and raining. But the heat stays the same, same, maybe the temperature just two degrees less or one degree less. And so far, um, I'm, I'm, I'm managing. So, um, yes, I will uh, start with the differences of Jakarta and Milan on various things, all right? Okay, one. I think I wrote already on my blog, but for those who do not go to read my blog because I understand you don't have time because even I myself don't go to check on people's blog unless it is very, very interesting or unless I happen to see on my Facebook that there's this blog that has just been published. So for example, let's take today as you can see, it's humid. And this is one thing that I don't like about Indonesia and that makes me miss Milan. I love the four seasons in Milan. I love the differences of outfits that you can change because in Milan it's important to change the clothes based on the season so you don't wear the same thing year in, year out, but always different every three months, in every three months. In Jakarta, you can wear the same all year, but it's, 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 I think it's what, 31 degrees today, and it's a bit sticky, but it's not that high, the humidity, so I can't complain that much. 
But since my house is very open, I don't use air condition in the lounge on the second floor or the living room downstairs. I have air conditions in every bedroom. I'm still not accustomed to talking to the camera and there's no one there to talk to. Second, I miss the Milan's um, way of life that I live there within the, the circle that I routinely do and also the friends that I have in, in there, in Milan and the freedom of just being me. Also physically, I can just walk out from my apartment anytime and find myself already near the supermarkets, the shops, the ambience, the, the, the atmosphere, the La Dolce Vita, you know, I can just go and have cappuccino anytime, anywhere, I have nice pasticcini anytime, anywhere, nearby, and they're so delicious. So I miss those very much. And also I miss very much my organic supermarket. I miss that very, very much, very, very much, I must say. But here, the beauty is I don't have to do the shopping myself unless I decided to go. I can always send my housekeeper or I go by myself, but I always need a car. However, the car here, which is Uber, Uber or we call it GoCar, it's very, very reasonable, very cheap, not even reasonable, very cheap. So I can't complain with that either. So uh, you see, that's why it's difficult to choose between these two countries. But uh, due to circumstances, I've had to make uh, one choice, and that was to return to Indonesia before Christmas. And so far, I must say, I am satisfied with the decision because you know why? It makes me feel lighter. It makes me feel less stressful, less worrisome. And uh, yes, why not? This is my country and my God, the house that I live in is something that I never dreamed to, to, to be living in or to have, especially in my own country, in Jakarta, in the capital city, which is actually not far from any uh, amenity. But I miss my cappuccino, <laughs> I miss my chocolate, I miss my ice cream, and of course I miss all those memories that I had with my husband there. However, my husband did come here and spend two and a half months here. So I also have memories with him here. So you see, you can see, I cannot choose between the two residencies or two countries. I like them both and I love them in, in their own um, very, very uh, uh, attractions. So that's it. So to continue on the differences, between uh, Milan and Jakarta. So, uh, all right, uh, what do I miss? What do I miss in Italy? Yeah, just the lifestyle. But I am loving it now in Jakarta. Slowly, slowly, I am starting to love it. Also because, of course, I have my housekeeper. I have a, I have a, a, the gardener. I have all the help I need for everything that I I need I need it done. So uh, it's spoiling me though, you know, because I'm so accustomed to doing everything myself and I love uh, on the fact that I can do everything myself in Milan, you know, I started to be dependent or uh, anatom anatomous, yes. Uh, uh, so uh, now here, 
you know, every little thing somebody can do it for me. Every little thing somebody can do it for me. But I love in Jakarta, even though I don't really like the lifestyle. What I mean is, you know, the people here are not free. You know, the the the, you know. It's not like in Milan. Let's put it that way. And um, but they have everything here. They have everything, everything here. Maybe the things that I like in Milan they don't have. But I can make do at least a little bit. But other things they have that Milan doesn't have. So you see, again, there is the dilemma. Can you hear the kitten's voice? It's again in the village behind this house. So as I was saying, uh, yes, I miss the, I don't know, just the, the, the freedom. I'm swimming and now I'm going inside. And change. It's my Sunday morning relaxation. I'm here sitting at the bed and breakfast room downstairs watching TV and just scrolling on my laptop as usual. So this is one of the advantages living in Jakarta while my bedroom is being cleaned. And I'm here being spoiled for choices. I can do, I don't know, maybe I go out later, maybe, we'll see, but it's a bit overcast today, so I'm not going to swim again, but last night I was already ready to take another video for you to close the vlog 10, but uh, I discovered that um, I could transfer all my photos from uh, iPhone to Google photo so now at least I've already space uh, saved some space that's why I can film again because my storage was full so anyway hope you have a good Sunday and then I'm going to edit and post my video for vlog 10 all right